Hello, I'm Dave Llewellyn. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. Detroit Police Chief James Craig may be about to trade in policing for politics. Sources say he plans to retire from the department he's led for the last eight years, and there's talk he may dive into politics by exploring a Republican run for governor against uh, Democrat Gretchen Whitmer. We could find out more Monday when the chief is expected to make an announcement. If you are working from home, you may be closer to going back to the office than you think. A new milestone tracking tool unveiled by the state puts us right at the doorstep. The Michigan Back to Normal Tracker includes CDC data on Michiganders vaccinated by providers not previously counted in our system. It shows 54% now have at least one dose. That's up from 51.5% on the state dashboard. 55% triggers a two-week countdown allowing in-person work for everyone. A man caught on camera is wanted for a break-in downriver. Surveillance photos show him lugging around a big crowbar. We're told he used it to pry open a back door at Feed Right Pet Supply in Lincoln Park early Tuesday morning. The crook got away with a safe that contained cash from sales and change for the registers. The suspect was driving a red Dodge Caravan. There's a new addition coming to Chandler Park on Detroit's east side. The Chandler Park Conservancy breaking ground today on a new state-of-the-art skate park. We're told the skate park's design is inspired by the national environment of Chandler Park and will feature different types of terrain for skaters of all ages. Park builders plan to hire local contractors and Detroit residents to work on the project. Here's Chief Meteorologist Dave Rexroth now with a check of your seven first alert forecast. Looks like a good park and a great way for me to break a wrist. Hey, listen, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but I'm going to be the one to tell you this. Mother's Day does not look real great. Saturday's a nice day, but Sunday, a chance of rain south of M59 in the morning. That becomes likely south of M59 in the morning, especially around and south of I-94. 54 in Detroit, I think it's going to be a struggle just to get to 50 down in Lenaway, Monroe County. You'll have the rain the longest on Sunday. So north is better, south is not great. 54 for the high after a pretty good day Saturday at 58. We're back to 58 on Monday, dry weather for most of next week, and finally back to the mid-60s by the end of next week.